second round. Oh, trolling. Plus 120 for turning the volume up. Is the bar really that low? The volume bar, that is. A multifaceted joke. We love those. Mic is insanely good quality. Thank you. You probably don't mean it, but I'll take it. Am I talking into the wrong mic? No music. Yeah, I was planning to play music today. Um but um, there was something wrong with the with the sound. Was it the wrong mic? Can you hear me better now? Or now? One or two? One? Two. One? Two. Okay, two. So I'm talking into the other mic today. Interesting. Everybody's saying two. I don't think... Some people are saying one. Um, but I think they just don't want to hear my beautiful voice. Which I gotta tell you, you're missing out. Okay, let me see what's happening in the game. Uh, should I go C3 maybe? Kick this knight away. My uh, position is probably pretty uh, pretty good. How come I never beat Car in Title Tuesday? Ouch, ouch, that hurts. Uh, let me see. Bishop d6, is that really possible? Yeah, I don't want to calculate, so I'm just gonna bring my knight to uh, knights to beautiful squares. And I'm gonna grab a pawn. Bishop b6, I can take, take, and bishop b3. And if bishop c4, d c4, bishop b6, well, I didn't see that. Can I take this? Queen d7 then is sort of a weird move. Where is balding David? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know where he, where he is. He's just probably just being bald somewhere. Meanwhile, my position is not, is not great. I'm trying to turn up the volume, but... Should I go BC? Yeah. Let me um, go for the end game. I think I'm not worse. The pawns are really, really ugly, but there are many of them. So eliminating all of my potential pass pawns, if I can get this pawn, it's gonna take some time for him. So that is kind of my hope. Maybe he wants to go here. Yeah, it's a good plan. I guess I'll... I'm just trying to get to, to c6, really. But I think objectively I'm not... Oh, that's a good move. So I can never trade... I can never trade rooks, I believe. I just gotta bring the rook around then. Rook h5. Now I'm probably worse. I'm almost certainly worse. Trying 
to get in somewhere. Yeah, I know the mic is fucked. Don't worry, I understand it. When everybody points out the same thing. Dude, that is not a good uh, Google Translate right there. Rook a6. But now he's just crippling his own rook. That cannot be a wise idea. Now I'm winning this. My position was so dubious earlier that he's still sort of fine here, which is pretty sick. <laughs> but I think, oh, I didn't say this move. Damn it. Oh, that's a bummer. Check, just to confuse him. Another check. Not to confuse him, but because I think it's a good move. Oh. Look at this maneuver. This is nice. Check. Rook d4, and then we bring the rook around. Now the win is actually trivial. Just push the pawn, and my king will take care of the rest. c4. Now my rook is active, and his is passive. Okay, let's go here. Let's not get the king boxed in. Now he cannot defend the pawn. Go here. And a little trick. Oh, actually, I was going to go king f7, king f6. That still wins. But because my king is so close to. Uh, sorry, my rook is so close to his. That didn't actually didn't actually work. Yeah, this is an unrated stream. Otherwise, I'd lose too much rating. Check. Is he playing till night? I guess he might as well. No, he lost some time instead. Here, thanks to Hikaru shoutout. Ah, oh, that guy's so nice. You know. Giving uh, giving help to small streamers. Um, Car blundered in the in the last move, but made it through. Well, thank you. Oh, people are actually he actually raided. Is he not playing? No, I think we are trolling here. Let me check, check for myself what's going on with the, with the stream. Why it is so low? Um, should I just shout? Maybe I'll do that. Oh, I didn't even realize the window was closed. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should just be shouting like this. But then my... This is uh, impractical because the chat is on the other side. I'll have to rearrange quite a few things.
think that was probably not the... Uh, What about now? Still muted? We fixed? Uh, we actually fixed. I'm uh, really not comfortable speaking this way. Feels weird. I'm giving a check just to make sure his king stays in the center. Oh, that I did not expect. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably have to focus a little bit. I wanted queen b4, but then rook c5. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. Yeah, rook c5, then I was hoping for this, but oh, it's all a bit dubious. I was hoping for d7 earlier, because then I'd take and then I'd get the e7 square for my knight, and then I'd, I think, pretty quickly um, unravel my pieces. Uh... Wait a sec. Knight c4, I think this I can take. Rook c8 and then rook d8. Can I get a profile picture already? Maybe, yeah? Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that will increase my streamer rating. This game is like this sort of chess is not the chess I should be playing against this guy at all. My opponent is really, uh, what? That seems like a complete bluff to me. Okay, I'll take the knight and then I'll think. I can see some point like check and I can see his idea. Oh, I was about to blunder really badly there. I'll attack with the knight, but I don't love it. Yeah, check is a good move. Probably a3. Bishop f4. Doesn't look right really. Let's go here. Now queen back, we force a queen trade, and that should more or less do it. Actually, he could have still have fought on with b3, but yeah, whatever. Can I turn up my mic? Yeah, I'm trying. Games so far have been pretty, uh, pretty poor. 1% volume. Ah, thank you. Thank you for noticing that my, my, um, 
<laughs> man sounding older by the minute now. It's true. I am getting older by the minutes. You have a good grasp of time, sir. Um, <laughs> where is Asios when we need him? <laughs> My hair is messy. Yeah, that is also true. Is there a screw loose on the mic? Uh, yes. It's the same screw that's loose in my brain. But, um, yeah, I need to fix that as well. Nope, that just made it worse. Mike stand is out of testosterone, yeah. <laughs> it's a good way to sum, sum it up. Is I ever lost here? Like in the opening, I'm much worse, but because um, you could go, could have gone queen g4 early. Then I have to go king of eight, which is super ugly. But later, bishop d4. Oh, I'm actually better already. Wow. Check is oh g5? Huh, that's cool. Okay, thus yeah, queen b oh I could just go back and then pick it up. Yeah, simply has no threats. Seven it just loses. I trade this. Oh now knight of five. And here knight of five, yeah, I didn't see that that at all. Let's see four. Okay, this just doesn't work. Not at the end. Yeah, not just knight b six, and he can win back and exchange. But my hair is mitigating my voice. Thank you, thank you. That is not a compliment, but I'll take it. See if Vasios is saying anything. Uh, I'll try and fix it during um, during the break after after this game. Sound is perfect. Mm, seems unlikely. We have Vugar Razulov. Um, I think I played him before in some different formats. I'm sure he plays g6. Huh? But most Azari players would they play g6. No. Um, uh, you know, no generalizations, of course, based on nationality. We'd never do that on this stream. Uh, I see people do her queen d3, maybe? I feel like I've had this as. I feel like I've had this as, um, as black. In some game recently or fairly recently the idea is to meet this with knight b5 oh so this makes a lot of sense i go like knight a2 and then a5 nah, i don't think that makes a lot of sense Okay, let's go rook d1. I really don't know what my plan is here. e5. 
right now. I'm allowing. Really not. Really not feeling it right now. Howdy from Colorado. My volume is fine. I'm just too far away. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll try and fix it after. After this game, during the break. Meanwhile, in this game, I'm just worse with white. But. You know, things could, could of course turn around. Preparing knight g4, I think. Uh, what should I do about that? I got knight b1, maybe? Yeah, maybe I'll just go knight f1. But I don't like this one bit. Out of six. Just have a poor position without a lot of counterplay. Okay, I'm gonna just do something to try and confuse him a little bit. Break the trend, as they say. Because the trend was really not in my favor. This I'm going to take, and bishop d4, and I have some threats of bishop f6. And two bishops. Bishop a6. Bishop c3. And I was hoping he would take this. I think he could have taken on a4 and gotten another pawn. But now I have... Uh, I'm still worse, but I have a little life for my pieces. So I have a little hope that I may be able to confuse him now. Should I go to a5? Maybe I'll go with the bishop to a5, actually. A little... Um, Swish and Zug there. Is that a Swish and Zug? Yeah, I think that's the Swish and Zug, before I move the knight. Okay, rook b1, try and fight for the file. Knight h7, yeah, that's a good move. Okay, I think... I think I would want to trade that bishop. That bishop is really strong. You could have taken on b1 and then f1, then I would have had to give up another pawn. But it would have been pretty risky strategically for him. Because my rook would invade on the on the b file. And here I think I'm gonna give up the h2 pawn and just go for it on the on the queen side. I think practically speaking I'm alright here. So he goes for goes for the second pawn, but now I am going to win c6 and I am going to win uh, a7. So it becomes it becomes a race, which in which it seems to me that I'm ahead at the moment. Okay, so I'll move the knight first. I don't know if I need to take, but I will. So 
probably just go bishop b4 and then run. Don't see any particular problems with that. You can go h. Oh, this is what I missed. Don't know if it's quite queening the pawn, but I I wanna. I wanna play it somewhat safer. Knight is three. So knight g three, and then I'm safe. Can I win? That's the question. Okay, let's get the pawn to a6 first. Now bishop a5. Is he not losing the knight here? Yeah, he's losing the knight. Bishop b1, that's a trap. That's a trap knight in the corner where the knight really doesn't like his life. Okay, pretty uh, poor game, but we got another win. Uh, okay, let me see if Asios is available. Uh, gonna change the... Um, See? Okay. Looks like we're back. Good night, Asios. Is, has Asios stopped modding? Now Prashin Miao is going to be the only mod. So now that I know, or I suspect that the... Um, that uh, the... Um, the sound is okay. I'll tell the story of my first Tall Tuesday today. Um, I should start with um, the fact that I had lunch uh, with um, one of my oldest friends um, and best friends, of course, uh, Johannes. Uh, we have lunch once a month at this nice restaurant that has this really, really good burger for lunch. The only problem with that, like you get the burgers, the truffle fries, everything. And <laughs> then the problem is um, that you, it basically knocks you out for the rest of the day. Um, and, um, you know, that's, that's, that, that's the problem. Like you're not hung really hungry for, for the rest of the day and you're, you're just in a bit of a food coma. Anyway, um, so we ate and then I had a meeting later. Um, meeting was okay, but then Tile Tuesday was, um, was starting. I had another meeting, but that got pushed. Uh, Tile Tuesday was starting and I didn't make it home in time. So I, th I, I thought, okay, why not walk while I'm playing? And I actually won the first four games. They were not good games, but I won them fairly comfortably. Um, and um, I got home. And uh, I got to say the fifth game against Paramov. Uh, Param was... Um, that was a shitty game. That was literally... Uh, a shitty game because I got home and I had to take a massive dump so I just took my phone into the bathroom and uh, I flagged him from the bathroom so there you go <laughs> um, meanwhile I'm playing another Norwegian here Elham um, we got a pretty normal uh, exchange Karakhan where white is usually a little bit better. Um, and later I was, I mean, I wasn't playing well, but I was at least scoring a lot of points. But eventually, you know, 
the uh, the burger came home to to roost in the sense that I was just feeling dead and uh, I just uh, <laughs> I just collapsed at the end. <laughs> Did I wipe while flagging? Um, possibly yes. Neither confirm nor deny that. Dirty flag for a reason. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And then as people, yeah, as people may know, I lost some of the last few games. And frankly, I'm still pretty, still not feeling the energy and... The games so far have been horrible. I've been worse in every single one of them. So I expect to start losing soon. Probably at um, soon as this game, but hopefully, you know, we'll have some fun while losing. Did I just allow you five? No, I have bishop c4. Oh, yeah, so now this is typical Elham, he's really tricky. So now he's trying to go e5 next. Now that his rooks were connected, he was threatening e5, bishop c4, and then takes. So, inspired by alpha zero, as you have to say every single time, I am going for um, the pawn on h6. I need to play TT while making love. Well, I have... Nah, I'm not gonna tell the story. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, I don't really know what I'm doing here, but he's... Dark squares are really, really weak. Does Alpha Zero really push H six that often? Um, yeah, generally pushing the flank pawns very far if you're not stopped is, um, <laughs> is a, um, is a sound strategy. I start the story, then I finish. No, that's not... That's not how this works. Meanwhile, you know, I'm not really happy with the way that I'm playing, but I'm still kind of better. I've ever gotten ahead and been thinking about chess positions at the same time. Oh, that one is a definite yes. Did I take a massive dump in the chess bra house? Well, I was there for a long time, so what do you think? Meanwhile, in this game, I think I'll bail out by trading queens and then... See more football TikToks of me than chess TikToks? Seems a bit surprising. Why are you watching TikTok at all? Stay in school. So, Alan is a tricky player. Let's see if he can get out of this one. Uh, I want to keep... This probably has to go here. 
Ninety-five. Yeah, but now my king is entering. Knight d7 is the only chance. She finds. I think I'll just go here and enter with the king. Oh, I didn't. What am I doing? I didn't see that. But this was hanging. I just saw that uh, the f2 was hanging. Now I don't have my majority anymore. And without the majority, it's hard to get stuff done, you know? I shouldn't say shit done with uh, the stories that I've been telling. That's why I didn't. I check. Now my king is pretty active. I think I can enter this pawn ending. Pretty safely. Now this is Zugzwang. My king is entering further. And uh, this should be all but over. Hmm, this is a tricky try though. King b6. The king will be somewhat caught. Okay, I think I'll just take on b4. And then this, still a little bit tricky. Takes this pawn, but now I think it's a pretty automatic win since g5 and then g6. Yeah, g6 and now one of the pawns will queen. <sighs> shaky technique, really shaky. So LM, for those who don't know, LM is a very promising young Norwegian player. It's going to be a GM soon. And uh, also going to be in the, the national team in pretty short order. So that's good. And he's also very very good at Blitz. I think even better at, at Blitz than other forms of, or forms of chess. Yeah, but I mean, this is just a disaster wait, waiting to happen. My games are not good, and my brain is not good. Not good. Just change my chess.com profile picture? Yeah, I should at some point. <laughs> I'm getting... Uh, Message from uh, Mason, shout out Orange T TV, who wants to help with tech as well. <laughs> I know you're there, Mason. Mm. We get Blue Bomb. I've played quite a bit in Blitz. Um, he's really strong as white, so won't be easy in this one. Oh, he's yeah. This is true. He's playing this these uh, setups, which I don't really enjoy playing against that much. Now he goes c five. This is annoying. Like I'm making random moves. And he apparently knows the line. I played him recently on the Chess Press channel. Yeah, that is true. This will probably be a pretty boring position. I think I'll trade on c3, then go knight e4, and then go for, for e5. But then after that, you know, the position is going to be pretty... pretty plain. <laughs> Now, I'm, I'm just trying to, yeah, trying to change it up a little bit by playing like this, but I don't love it. I, I mean, I can take on c5, but 
I don't love the resulting positions. Bishop g5. Sorry, bishop f5. Bishop d3. Queen g5, castles. Don't think I have anything there. I think I probably just have to take the pawn. But yeah, I believe white is somewhat better here. But at least the position is a little bit imbalanced now. So the potential for outplaying my opponent exists. Now, bishop f5, I guess. Yeah, I'm probably just worse. Forsen can beat me easily. Well, it's the one and only Forsen. Can you go f3? Queen h4? No, that doesn't work. I mean, I by his time expenditure, I know he's looking at it, but I don't think it works. I'm your inspiration in chess. Well, thank you. I hope to be your inspiration in life as well, you know. I thought this did, just didn't work. Really? No. No, 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 no. I don't believe this. I just check and then I take an e3. Fe3, Fe4, de4. No, this doesn't work. The only problem is after rook f1. Mm, it's not so easy to win, maybe. Held a message for a reason, swearing. Allah will post it to chat. Well, we generally always encourage swearing in this, in this chat, so I'll probably allow it. Yeah, rook d8, he still goes queen e2, and I have to trade. Hmm. Knight c3. No, knight c3, queen c3, and then rook e1. Doesn't actually work. So maybe I have nothing too exciting here. Do I want to... Keep that bishop alive. I'm not so sure. Oh, maybe you could have taken and then bishop e2. Okay, whatever I need to play. This is mainly to make him use a few extra seconds before we arrive at more or less the same position. Yeah, queen f2. Should probably keep the queens on the board. h5, stopping him from clamping down here on the, on the king side. And um, yeah, with his weak king, I obviously keep the queens on the board. I had dual threats of both opening up with a5 and attacking the pawn on g3. And he couldn't really prevent both. So now his main... His main problem, for lack of uh, better phrasing, is that he's losing on all sides of the board. I think bishop e6 should be fine. Queen coming in, bishop as well, and king d2, rook a2. Okay, uh, fairly clean game. Just want to see how much better. Yeah, computer says white is a bit better, but it's nothing too drastic. Yeah, I should go to with the bishop to c4, uh, to b4 instead of. Yeah, maybe not a big difference. 
here, yeah, castles. Castles you should obviously play, but then bishop g6, knight g5 next. It's playable. Oh! Hikaru has 6 out of 6. So I'm gonna play him next. Mm, maybe not, actually. There are a few other players with 5 out of 5 whom I could potentially face. What do I think about Alireza's interest in fashion design? Uh, I'd have to see some of his designs first. I cannot comment on um, on his work before I've uh, I've seen some of it. So, um, otherwise, you know, I'd be very open to wearing some some Alireza designs in in the future, and. Um, Apart from that, I think it's awesome that he's um, pursuing his interests, uh, regardless of, um, of what people may think or expect, expect of him. No more wiping questions. I'm wiping that topic off the table. It looks like we have three players with six out of six. Um, it is yours truly, as well as um, naming myself first, of course, the humble person that I am, as well as um, Alireza and uh, Hikaru. So it's me, a professional chess player, and as well as a fashion designer and a streamer. But on the other hand, I, the professional chess player, am ranked number three in the world in Blitz, which is lower than number one, the fashion designer, and number two, the streamer. So you could see that um, in some ways I am the underdog here. Car just used the same joke. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. But congrats to your car on making a joke. And with uh, winning all his games so far. It's not easy. And his games have probably been more <laughs> convincing than mine. So I'm clearly playing one of them. Uh, we also have Maxim, Bashir Legrav, and Yu Yang Yi on, the, on uh, five and a half out of six. So it's really, well, it's really a pretty tough field. <laughs> they saw my ratings. <laughs> um, they saw the FIDE blitz list, so they paired me down. Yu Yang Yi is still a super tough pairing, but um, being paired down is a little bit funny. And to generalize a little bit more, all uh, um, or a lot of the Chinese players are playing the um, the Petrov, so. It's not a surprise to see that from him. Uh, what's the... Uh, this is, people don't really play this line anymore. It's black, so... Um, it's been a long time since I looked at it as well. Sup, goat. I slept with my brother-in-law's wife and the family is pissed. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> oh, I got some nice trolls here, deleted by Automod. It's a shame. And 
Now we can go c4. It takes, takes the. I feel like achieving um, achieving c4 here is probably good for me. Should we go bishop d2? Yeah, why not? I think it b6 I'll take. Then put the knight on e5. Do I like sweets? That's a weird question. You should ask... Um, <coughs> should ask Pushin Miao. <laughs> the mod. If you like sweets. <laughs> no, like... Uh, different meaning or anything. Just... Yeah. Sweets should you poison me with? Yeah, that is a good question. Huh. It's not playing b6 yet, which is a little, little bit confusing to me. But I guess I will go for this. Should go knight e1. Queen e1, there's knight b3. Bishop e1, then my bishop cannot go to f4. All the moves have um, some little drawbacks. Thinking maybe rerouting the knight like this. And now I allowed b5, but is it any good? Wait a sec. Queen f3, bishop b1. Take on a5, d6, or d6 immediately, maybe? It's really complicated. But I can go d6 immediately there. Yeah, that looks interesting. Let's go for that. Oh, then... No, it's not so clear. My my knight on e one is looking extremely silly. Um, that would making me a little less optimistic than I'd probably normally be here. Knight c four, bishop c four, and b c four, then bishop a five. At the very least, I have a lot of tricks. Got some hard hitting questions in, in chat, but I'm not gonna read all of them. Okay, now we have to take and then rookie two. Like positionally I'm doing pretty poorly, but I'm hoping for dynamics here. Okay, D seven. How exactly is it defending against rook E eight? I wonder. Oh, this is the point. But still, queen a8 is a threat. My bishop is really snug enough, one covering the king like that. And it could, could potentially go to c4, but it means that, unlike him, I'm never getting uh, background chick made in here. c3, really? So bishop... Queen d5, I'll try. Yeah, bishop g6, but now queen d6 wins on the spot. He was worried about bishop c4 stuff, but this one just decides it. Yeah, this is game over. He's not only, like, he's just getting mated. That is his problem. 
or that's one of the problems. Um, also because of the bishop on g6, he, he cannot even give up a lot of material to escape. Okay, let me see exactly what computer was saying. Yeah, so b5 is good. And, uh, computer says I have to take and then, okay, why exactly is this wrong? d6. I want knight c6 or knight b7 and then take the rook. Oh, that's clever. Rook a f yeah, here, rook e2, d7. I'm already winning. Wow. And bishop c4 is even better than queen d5, but it's okay, it's both winning. Oh, they're both just completely winning. Cool. It was a fun game, eh? Yeah, I should show you the computer line on the screen, but my setup is unfortunately scuffed. <laughs> Talk about David Howell with a hard carry in the Pro Chess League today. Yeah, so I played uh, football with um, David yesterday, and apparently he took an elbow from me, which um, I'm sorry about. I, it was not an intentional. But uh, he was pretty pissed, and he brought out. He brought it brought out the fury, in him, in the Protest League today for the no Norway gnomes. And uh, made him win. Now, by the way, uh, Alireza, the fashion designer, and Hikaru, the streamer, drew their games. So it means that I'm, in the um, in the clear lead. Which I was in the last tournament as well. I should say that. And then I failed miserably. I crashed and burned. Sorry. Sorry, people. All my elbows are unintentional. For those who ask me to elbow them. My English is so good. It's so um, it's better than yours, and you're a native speaker. How did it get so good? So this is not a channel that accepts subs. So really, no reason whatsoever to suck suck up to me. Oh, <laughs> a funny message from JK, but the chat is so fast, it's hard to even notice. By the way, also, the only players on six and a half out of seven. I have seven out of seven, for those who don't know. Um, are... Um, the aforementioned fashion designer and streamer. So I'm certainly playing one of them. But who? Probably depends on who played white of them in the last game. <laughs> Getting my one stream in today. With one stream a year in today, huh? First time chatter. Well, we've been streaming regularly this this year, and I just went to streamer camp, so I'm naturally going to be streaming a lot this year. So I know you were trying to be funny, but I take serious offense to the fact that I'm streaming once a year, and it's gotten to the point where I saw the nomination for streamer of the year, and granted it was from 
it was for 2022 when I had approximately zero streams. But I was still a little offended that I didn't even get an honorable mention. <laughs> Did I vote for? <laughs> uh, if you think I voted, you don't know me very well. Oops. What was that sound? Was that a beer can getting knocked over? No, it wasn't. It was soda. So, I cannot help but see that when I go when I go on YouTube, sometimes the algorithm suggests um videos that says drunk magnus this drunk magnus that and so there was this one i think i mentioned this before as well there was this one chess bra stream where i was pretty drunk but on others i was just like in a good mood not drunk sometimes high on sugar that should be said um like sometimes i'd gone with um Mr. Pushin Miao to to the waffle factory and had myself some some nice waffles. Um, but uh, you know, um, I wasn't drunk, so I take serious offense to that. <laughs> I'm doing this. I think this is the first time I do this in my life. But I remember uh, back in the days when I was young, um, I used to watch Lunaris tournaments. And um, there were all these short draws. And I remember like thinking because <laughs> all these top players are making short draws, then that's probably pretty, it's a cool thing to do. So like even I was offering short draws as well. So this is a case of me um, seeing people like Hikaru, people like Wesley making this force draw in the Berlin a lot of times. And I want to be cool like them, you know? <laughs> I want to do it for once. For once, I want to... Um, I want to make this Berlin repetition as well. To be like the others. And I promise as white, I'll never ever do it again. This is the one time. Usually, when I want to draw, I play some Rookie 1 Berlins instead of this. <laughs> Am I scared? Yeah, of course I'm scared. I was scared and I made up this bullshit speech instead of just admitting my, you know, my shortcomings, my uncertainties. Did I lose stream Relo? No. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I gained stream Relo by uh, by making that um, bullshit draw. Okay, let's watch let's watch Alireza now. <laughs> um okay. Um Alireza is Comfortably better uh, against uh, Andrekin, who I think I think Andrekin is the <laughs> held a message for a reason, bullying. Fucking lame, yeah, that is coward. Somebody, somebody else is calling me. Yes, I'll allow both of them. Both of them are pretty, um, <laughs> pretty justified uh, comments.
I made a draw to allow you to watch Alreza. Yeah, exactly. Permission to swag out. What, what does that mean? I don't speak street. Magnus, um, YouTube uh, channel will have 1 million subs soon, but Sabri, aren't you the one that manages it? Manages the YouTube channel? So you should know. I, I should listen to you for ideas. Ah, Alareza is just going for... Now he has to go rook a1. Avoid the trade of another pair of rooks, otherwise it's a really dead draw, but now I think he's just going to double rooks in the second rank, and it's going to be hard to win. Maybe he's got ideas like rook a4, and then rook f4. Freeing up the other, other rook. Oh, this is elegant, what Andrekin is doing. So he's just going to wait... Like, back and forth, or even pushing this pawn. I don't know why he pushed that pawn, though, because it's easier now for white to create a pass pawn. But otherwise, he's just going to watch. He's just going to, you know, follow the, the white rook wherever it goes, which is pretty, pretty clever. Now, Andrekin is going, yeah, h5 was horrible. Now he's probably going to lose. But then I get to play <laughs> to <laughs> I can't. Hey man, head mod of the cuckold subreddit. And I'm here to tell you that you've been granted VIP status. We've never seen such cuckoldry of your level before. Truly a man uh that like watching his wife getting railed by a bigger strong man. Glad to have you. I'll allow that comment. That's probably copy pasta, but still, that's pretty good. Yeah, Lareza is probably just winning now. King g7, rook f6, and if rook h4, there's rook f7. So we get to play Alareza next. And, uh, you know, uh, that's going to be very good content. That still doesn't change the fact that there are 49 million kangaroos in Australia and 3.5 million people in Uruguay. Yeah, that's an old copy paste. It was funny the first time, though. <laughs> I love this. Making this bullshit draw means that I get a really long break. So, we both get to watch some very good chess. From really the crown prince of chess and cuckoldry. And I get to talk to, to um, you idiots in the chat. So I think it's a win for everybody. Except for those who wanted to see a real game. You lose big time. Now, this is going to be resigns, king h6, rook f7, or king goes back rank with king f5, and that's, that's it. King g6 now, game over, or this, now king g6. Okay, so we got, um, we got myself. Still mentioning myself as the only professional chess player um, on seven and a half out of eight, and Alireza Firusha, the fashion designer, on seven and a half as well. And then we got some people on seven, and one. Uh, there could be four people on, or actually there could be no. There are four people on seven out of eight, and uh, some people on six and a half out of eight as well. So, I will um, get myself some more water, and then I'll be back in just a little bit to choke the rest of the tournament.
So, for those who are still here, if you want to ask serious chess questions, this is the time, and I might answer them. <laughs> no sound? No, of course. Of course there is sound. So, oh, this is too fast. There's a question about Demchenko and inflation or deflation. H A3 or H3? Um, probably A3 is a little bit more useful on the first move. No jokes, please. Serious questions only. Have I made it to king and knight versus king and knight? Um, no, but I've flagged. That's not possible on chess.com though. One thing I'm a little bit puzzled about is that when you have king and two knights versus just a king, it's an automatic draw. I mean, I mean, it's obviously a draw, but it's it's possible to get made it. So I don't know why that is. If there is any chess.com people in chat, please answer the question. Book recommendation? Yeah, there are a lot of like I consume chess books most of most mostly as entertainment because I'm because uh, I'm a massive nerd. Um, but there are a lot of. A lot of them. Uh, I think like the most interesting chess books I've ever read is um, I think it's called Secrets of Rook Endings. Uh, I don't even remember the title, but it was like a few years ago by Karsten Müller. Um, it's basically based on new data from seven pieces ta table bases. Like that's the sort of thing that I find really really interesting. Um, and a lot of things that I had no idea about and a lot of positions that are not in other, um, yeah, Hammer 7 Deadly Chess Sense, I haven't actually read it. Uh, I hear it's polarizing amongst other people, but I think Rausen wrote another book called Chess for Zebras, uh, where it's about thinking differently about black and white in, in chess. Uh, and that is something I find really interesting. Uh, the way you would look very differently at sometimes at the same position if you're uh, looking from different different sides. So, um, oh, you made Aryan get seven of the chess sets. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Aryan certainly needs to, um, um, or doesn't need to, but he could definitely use some some new input. Um, so what was I gonna say? Yeah. Uh, so the way that you think about chess differently is very interesting, and often during during longer games, I would try and think about how I would look at the same position if I just swap the colors, and it makes me um, uh, makes me look at it a bit a bit differently. Uh, did my game already start? No, that was a troll. Uh, I think that's pretty useful. Also, sometimes I look at it at you know uh, how the position would look like if the board was mirrored, but that's that's next level, and I don't know it's very, if it's very useful. Um, Orgors, the attacking manual. Um, I don't think I read it. Oh, understanding rook ending rook end games. Yeah, that's that's the one by uh, Müller. And uh, I read the old Miller book, um, 
fundamental chess endings, Müller and Lamprecht, um, like 23 years ago. Oh, sorry, 21 years ago. And that was very useful. Uh, apart from that, recently I really loved the, uh, the books on um, uh, the old... Uh, Soviet chess championships like there this book series is called dramas and masterpieces of Soviet championships which I found really uh, really interesting recently also I read a book on Timman I actually reread because I read that one before uh, but I find his games quite interesting and also his annotations are uh, really good um, so that was in inspiring, and um, uh, apart from that, what was I reading recently? Yeah, uh, another uh, the ink ink war, uh, which is about the struggle between um, between uh, Steinitz and Zuckertort in in the uh, in the late nineteenth century. Let me just refresh this again. Seems that my game should start pretty soon. But you never know. Uh, Hammer was asking about Sadler and AI. Yeah, I was actually reading a bit of the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement by Sadler. I, I really enjoy Sadler's content in, in general. Will I ever write a book myself? Hmm, I don't know. I sort of stopped annotating my games for magazines and such. Or, I stopped a while ago. Um, I don't know. I don't really enjoy it. Why don't we see one E4 knight C6? Uh, <laughs> when flying do I... Um, book another uh, second seat for my my books it's a good one um yeah not one night c6 yeah it's not bad oh i started no just trolling i started to re I've re i'm refreshing again what is this Why is this tournament not? How can I get back to? Tournament not finished yet? Why is it not letting me come back to the tournament? Okay, let me refresh again. Where's my game? Seriously? I'm just going here and it says tournament not finished yet. Oh, there we go. Finally. Thank you. 40 seconds. This is like the, um, <laughs> this is like, uh, the, um, the world blitz against Kovalyov in the first round. <laughs> Gonna have to play pretty fast in this one. It's a bit annoying. Alvarez is pretty fast. I could certainly have used the time against him. Don't know why I'm going h6, but here, like often, white goes d4. I think. Well, knight h2. Then I have to go for. 
Then I have to go for d5, d4. Potentially want this. Time loss is a piece of life gone. Yeah. Some deep shit there, buddy. Oh, he's actually provoking C4. Will I take the bait? I usually take the bait when I, when it comes to chat, so why not take the bait here as well? So I am under some pressure here, but my long-term prospects are pretty good. Uh, actually, I think I'll trade here first. Go e4. It's maybe simplifying the game a little bit too much, but I feel, feel like this is a practical choice. So takes, 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 uh, takes, takes, and then dc3 at the end. And I'm fine. Rook b1 now. Not d4 possible. Bishop b2. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do that. Okay, let's be safe. Uh. Ninety-five. Should play a bit, a little bit faster. Ah, I didn't see that move. Hmm. Now I'm actually worse. Lack of time is coming back to bite me a little bit. Oh, I think that may have been a poor move. He's gonna pin me, but don't think that's decisive. Now I got f6 next. And I should be able to survive. Now I'm just going to wait, wait, wait. I think I can go for bishop c5, yeah. Bishop d4. After the trade, I should be drawing pretty comfortably. Keep the king. And f7. He has no inroads. And here, just trade everything. G6. Okay. I, I was. I'm almost certain that I was better. Um, but. I mean, with 40 seconds from move one, that's okay. Let me just see. So yeah, here, d4, I'm, I'm better. 
uh, c4 is correct. Knight, yeah, knight g4 was, yeah, I should just go knight g4. Um, and then I was thinking about hg, but maybe I just, yeah, queen a5, I was also thinking about f6, just to stabilize, not allow any g5 shenanigans, and then I can go about my business on, my, on the queen side. But I wanted to get this position so that I would be absolutely safe, but... Oh, I got rook b8. Mm, it's hard to see. Yeah, here I'm not better anymore. Oh, now I'm actually worse. Well, yeah, now I'm just worse. Here... Yeah, probably rook d8 was his best chance. Like this. And this endgame is probably winning. This pawn is weak. And uh, this pawn will be as well. Yeah, that was... But here after... Yeah, after this is just a draw. Oh, should I ban somebody? Nah. Not gonna ban. No. Okay, so... I get white against Duda. Pretty... Uh, pretty tough opponent right there. Now oh, is he gonna go for the King's Indian? Wowza. Or maybe the Grunfelds. Ah, uh, the green faults. Didn't really have an idea of what line I was going to play here, though. Okay, let me go for uh, the classical bishop e3. Why did I go two knight of three? I wasn't even thinking. Some people are having a lot of fun spamming. But then again, why wouldn't they? Spamming is fun. Oh yeah, this is a line. Where you can actually allow white to take with the bishop, not... Yeah, this is a line people have been playing, I think. This is some kind of... Um, fairly forced... First draw, if I remember correctly. Get some mods. Go to a different channel if you want mods. Maybe you are not supposed to go H4 immediately there. I prefer Anarchy. I most certainly do. I think you're supposed to, in a different line at least, go bishop g5 here. Because there aren't a lot of good squares for the, the rooks. Mm. I can go bishop b5 now. Yeah, he doesn't want the old apple zero, h5, h6, which is understandable. But the pawn is not... It's not great on h6 either. It could be a target there. Oh, so then he wants rook a5. Okay, that makes sense. But anyway, after rook d5, I was intending to put the bishop on c4. So I'm not too unhappy about that. Uh, what should I do now? Should I castle or king e2? Hmm. I'm not sure I love my position here. Actually, I probably should castle. 
Yeah, my king could be pretty unsafe in the center, I think. B6 is a bit surprising to me. Well, he's allowing bishop e6, but that's clearly not very good. I may have gone h5 earlier. It's all kind of hard to, to figure out this time. Should be five. Okay, I'll go bishop d3. But I don't love my position. But as they say, you don't always have to love it, you just have to live with it. Knight d2, bishop a6. Yeah, I don't really like this. that move. Getting a little bit outplayed by Mr. Duda here. Night before, I was really worried about. Okay, a3. Really worried is a bit too much. I was worried. Mm, that's a good move. Preventing me from taking and then. Now he, his bishop finds a good square. Okay, let's, I have to go here to protect pawn on knight e3. Maybe not that much worse. Knight c3, bishop f3, then... Okay, he trades. But now I'm not sure if he has much. doing here. But now I trade. No, I don't. Now I'm pushing. I think this passage should be strong. I'm not sure though. Oh, h5. I have a trick. Bishop h5. But now his pieces are pretty much still met. I think this, yeah, this just wins, and then d7. No, it doesn't. I missed something. Boy, this is a mess. Okay, now bishop, he was expecting d7, which would have won, but I thought I'd go here first, and then he flagged. Oh my fucking god. What a mess of a game. But I was winning in the final position. Let me see if I was ever like much worse. Mm. 
No, I think I was only a bit worse. Oh, this was clever. I should have gone h7 and then bishop g4, because then he cannot do this. Because my opponent just runs. But yeah, even this is just winning. Wow. That was a pretty big save. And Alvarez have won. He won as well, so he has 9 out of 10. Uh, so we're sharing the lead. Uh, and then on 8.5, we've got Hikaru, we've got Buddy Pranav, we got FFL Kamsky, as well as um, Alexander Indic, who happens to be... He's either the tallest or the second tallest Grandmaster in the world. And a very... Um, Unique player as well. Very creative. I think I. Well, oh, I mean, it's I played pretty poorly, so I do not by any means deserve to be in the lead before. Oh, we get Buddy Pranav. Wow, that's cool. It's not going to be easy. Buddy is coming for me. But at least we're in position, and that should be good content. He doesn't want any marshals, eh? I'm still gonna play extremely solid. What's a new way people play here? Like h6 and then... Oh, I've had this against him. In some offhand blitz game. And he had some quick knight h2 and f4, I think. So I need to be aware of that. Okay, maybe... Maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. This is just... You know, a slow maneuvering game. Uh, so... That should, like in general, suit me pretty well. Should I trade or bishop b7? Bishop b7, knight f5. Knight e5, maybe. Yeah, that actually looks okay. Or maybe it's just gonna take another f3. Well, he didn't. Threatening 94. F4, I can go knight c4. So it goes f3. So if I go c5, yeah, c5 looks fine. Just want to shut this bishop out of the game. Bishop d5, I think I take, take, and then knight c4. And then I should have some some counterplay. Also bishop d5 b4 is an option. And then go take on on uh, on uh, b2. I kind of like that better actually. Bishop f2. Can't I just break open the center now? I mean, he can go f4, e5, but he's playing without. He's playing without the bishop at the moment. So I feel like the position should be pretty good for me. Is queen c8 clever here? Uh. Yeah, so I'm thinking of 94. 
Yeah, 94 should just be good. But it's complicated. I think now queen g4. So what it's gonna do? Yeah, so I was thinking that I'd go for some kind of player. But I'm not so sure. It's maybe turning into the excited kind of position I didn't really want against him. Oh, he's got... Yeah, I got rook e2, then rook d2. Now I have to... Now my queen is out of play, and then... That's pretty dangerous. Still might be fine, though. A takes. Should I go for the rook? No, I have to go bishop c8, I think. Maybe I go for the rook exchange now. This is so complicated. May just be lost. Hmm. Okay, I think I have to trade the rooks. Oh my fucking god, I just missed this. Yeah, now I'm lost for sure. annoying. Escaping all these games and then getting crushed by Buddy. Here, King D8. Okay, let me see. Where's the knockout? Oh, B3? Oh, and then... Then he wants Rook D2. Very nice. It's really pretty. Yeah, Rook D2. And King E7, Bishop C5 is mate. Well done, well done. Really? Yeah, that was a good game. Uh, I just got crushed. Nothing more to say. Let me see. D5. Oh, I should go D4. D4 and then this, yeah, then I'm just winning. It's all about this and now my bishop is active as well. And then after what happened? Yeah, queen d2 was just a blunder. Rook f1, rook bd8, takes. Rooks, yeah, now I'm just lost, unfortunately. Only chance was this. Also, practically speaking, that sh one sh I should have done. Yeah, this is like what I was looking at here was FG6, and then this is still pretty dicey for me. Uh, but here, rook e1 to give a check, king f2, and then f5. He takes bishop e6, and might be surviving.
So, Alireza, Hikaru, and Buddy Pranav on nine and a half. Wow. What a choke. But he did what he needed to do. Let's see who ends up on top. Uh, second title Tuesday choke in one day. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Game against Wesley, I just, I had seven and a half and I, um, choked really really hard in that game and now I'm beat I'm beaten by a streamer a fashion designer and a kid but to be honest I should stop talking before I absolutely overdose on copium here uh, but to be honest like I really, really, really didn't deserve to to win either of these tournaments because I was just in a food coma the whole day and not playing well. But I was nevertheless hoping that I would. Let me just get the final standings here. Okay, so Hikaru won. Congratulations to him and congratulations to to Alareza and to uh, Pranav as well. And I get fourth, which is a decent result. But uh, considering uh, considering uh, that I was leading the entire fucking tournament, you know. <laughs> It's a bit disappointing. I think you should use a chest bra flare after the Pranav win. 